नाउ अवर टॉपिक इज वाई वेबसाइट इनक्रिप्शन मैटर्स लॉकिंग डाउन कम्युनिकेशन सपोज दिस इज दबसाइट एनी ऑनलाइन साइट देन इट मस्ट बी हैविंग यूजर्स वेन ए पर्सन wants to purchase from this site or wants to make some interaction with this site it will naturally enter username and passwords and after making all the purchases on this site the user will also have to make payment and for making the payment it may have it will have to enter credit card details its cvv or its expiry date or other personal details may have to be entered so what is happening it is all happening on internet so if the communication is such like say we are entering the credit card details 1 2 3 4 and this information is going from user to website if it happens in the normal course this communication takes place as it is that is the numbers what information is being entered is as it is being transported from the user is a computer to the website the hackers may intercept the communication and find out what communication is taking place that is what are the credit card details what are the usernames passwords and what is other information which is being entered and he may misuse that information for causing financial loss to the user so what is the solution the solution lies in encryption so website encryption means putting a tunnel around the information which is being communicated from the user to the website all the information which is taking communication which is taking place between the user and the website is in the encrypted form even if the hacker intercepts the communication the hacker will not be able to read it because the information will be in an encrypted form firstly it will not be in a position to reach that information because it will be in a form of a tunnel even if if it is a possible for the hacker to access that information he will not be able to read it because it will be in some padded form it normally happens that as a layman when we want to search any information we go to internet and find that information whichever we want suppose we want to search some hotel for staying in some city we will put hotel in particular city and on the site search engine we may find some websites which start with http the others may start with https as a layman we can we do not know the difference between http and https we will hit any of these and find out the hotels where we want to stay but it should not be so we must remember that the sites which start with https are not secure we should not open the sites which start with http we should use the sites which start with https s is extra s means that 
the communication which is taking place between the user and the website is secure. That is, the website uses SSL or TLS certificate. SSL means secure socket layer and TLS means transport layer security. These are the security features in which the communication between the user and the website is secure in an encrypted form. We must remember that when we are owning a website, our website should start with HTTPS automatically. We should see that. And for that, we ha will have to obtain SSL or TLS certificate. You can search online and you will find out how you can get this, that, get that certificate. For that, you will have to pay some nominal fee to an agency or hosting provider. What is the difference between SSL and TLS? What we should use for our website? We must remember that TLS is the latest security feature or the latest security certificate which is being issued. So, when we are to renew our security certificate or when we are just starting our website newly or launching our website, we should ensure that we are having the latest version of certificate that is the TLS certificate we are having. And when we obtain the TLS certificate and install it on our site, install and configure the TLS certificate on our site, our website automatically starts with HTTPS. At the same time, we whenever we are visiting any site, we must also see that there is also a padlock sign along with HTTPS. Padlock sign is in this form. And then HTTPS. When we are visiting any site, we must find both of these. Padlock plus HTTPS. Alone, this padlock sign does not guarantee security. Whenever we are visiting any site, we must look for both these signs, padlock sign and HTTPS. And if we are owning the website, we must ensure that our website starts with padlock sign as well as HTTPS because these two signs guarantee that our that the communication between our computer and the website is fully secure by encryption. Now our topic is beyond price, why a reputable web host is crucial for website security. A hosting provider is responsible for storing the files of our website. When we are deciding that we should avail the services of a particular web host, then we must keep in mind certain points. First is strong security track record. We can search online about the views of its customers. If the track record is good, it shows that the firm is fully committed about the security of the data of the company that is clients. Then we must also find out whether the company also provides or the web hosting provider also provides the facility of SSL certificates that is the secured security layer 
in simple words i can tell you that suppose this is the website and these are the users suppose it is amazon i am not promoting the name of any company it is just for the purpose of clarification suppose this is the website of amazon and the user is interacting with it and at one stage when the person has decided what products it wants to use and after that it has to made payment to be of credit card or net banking so at that stage it will have to enter credit card or other details and it will be just like that suppose 1 2 3 4 5 then password in the ordinary form there is if there is a communication the hackers may intercept in the communication and all this data which is being entered such as the passwords the username credit card details expiry date cvv etc will go to the hacker because they are very technologically advanced and they can intercept in the communication and all these details of username passwords and other details will go to the hacker and they will misuse it so to avoid that sl certificates put a sort of tunnel or a sort of coverage about around all these details which are being entered by you they provide a coverage or a sort of tunnel around the communication which is taking place between the website and the users and this is not visible to the hacker what communication is taking place the communication takes place between the user and the website in an encrypted form that is the communication is not readable if even if it assesses the hacker assesses the information which is being communicated he will not be able to decode it so this is we must find out whether our hosting provider this facility of secure security layer then we must also see that whether the hosting provides us the facility of ddos protection what is it means in simple words we can say that suppose this is the website and suppose your website has the ability to handle 2000 i am talking only in general terms and not in technical terms suppose your website is in a position to handle 2000 users at a time and if say 2 lakh users start use approaching your site what will what will happen the your website server will crash and even the your genuine customers will not be able to assess your site so this is the ddos attacks so in case of ddos attacks the hacker will use many compromised computers a large number of compromised computers and from all that compromised systems the user will start traffic which goes to your website and ultimately your website will not be accessible so we should see that whether the hosting provider provides us the protection from ddos attacks that is denial of service attacks next we have to also see that whether the hosting provides us the facility of malware detection and removal if the hosting provider provides the tool for malware detection and its removal then your website can be secured from many types of cyber attacks then you have also to see whether the hosting provider provides the facility of regular backups automatically 
that is you have not to take backup the hosting provider will automatically backup your files so that in case of any accidental deletion or cyber security attack you can make use of the backup which is being maintained by the hosting provider then when you are finalizing the hosting provider you must also all the hosting providers ha may be having many plans they may be having separate price for the same you have to find out which plan suits your current needs as well as future needs if you think that today only your website is expected to reach only to get only 2000 users per day but you must also keep in mind what will happen after one month what after six months or because you cannot change your hosting provider every month or every six months so you will have to keep in mind what is your expectation about the a traffic load in future what are the facilities which are being provided by the hosting provider and what is the storage space which is being provided what is your need and what storage space is being provided and at what price you have to make comparison of the uh, benefits or the qualities or the features of various plans being provided by the different hosting providers and after comparing all the features of different plans and also your current needs and future needs you have to decide about the hosting provider and the particular plan which is being offered by the hosting provider now the topic before us is beyond prevention preparing for the worst with regular website backups in this digital world unforeseen events can happen at any time it may be possible that due to some human error our content on website may be deleted or due to some hacking attempts our data may be deleted or there may be some mal malfunctioning of our website due to which some data is deleted if we have backup we can restore the functioning of the website very quickly it may be also possible that the server which contains the data of our website is caught in fire due to which the data stands destroyed because the server is destroyed if we are having backup we can quickly start restart our website on the different server and our downtime is reduced to a considerable extent further if we are having our backup of the website files it gives us a peace of mind we will feel free tension free that we are having backup even in the case of deletion of contents of the file due to any reason we need not worry we can rebuild the website very quickly so we should opt for that hosting provider which provides for automatic backup of our website contents most of the hosting providers provide this facility but we must specifically keep in mind that the hosting provider chosen by us provides for the regular website backups right taking into this respect of regular website backup we will remain stress free and we can also keep the downtime 
with our website in the case of unexpected deletion of website contents to the minimum. Thanks for watching. If you like our course, please spare some time to give a star rating to our course.